This is exciting, man, because I quit my job at the grocery store. Oh my gosh. I was working at this grocery store. I hated it. Hated it. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> it was the worst neighborhood, man. It was so hood, and I hated my manager because he's like, listen, Mike, if people are stealing, I need you to do something. I'm like, Psh, do something? I live around here. I know these folks. <laughs> What's gonna happen if I apprehend William? He like, half of this shit for you, dawg. <laughs> I know William, struggle with me, then run off. <laughs> William got away. <laughs>applied for a job at Taco Bell. Has anyone ever seen the job application at Taco Bell? What asshole is writing the questions on this application? Question number three, and I quote, how did you hear about Taco Bell? What the fuck? How did I hear about Taco Bell? I live on Earth. You piece of shit. It's not the Illuminati. I walked here from my house. How do you think I heard of Taco Bell? I googled diarrhea and your name came up. They ask if you're currently employed. Uh, let's go with no. Let's check the no box there, Einstein. Who's leaving their current job to work at Taco Bell? What piece of shit job do you have? Right now I work at Del Taco, but... I'm trying to take it up a notch in the taco game, play <laughs> I know, I actually tried cocktail serving once for seven and a half years. And <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't love it, because um, cause people get a little self-unaware when they drink. You know, when I was working in the bar, people, drunk people were always asking me for drink recommendations. They're like, what should I drink? <laughs> <laughs> what shots should I take? Well, should I drink, drink? I'm like, why are you melting? Like, you sound like Rihanna. <laughs> well, should I drink, 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 drink? Tell me what to drink, drink. <laughs> like, you don't need a drink at all anymore. You need to go home and record an album. <laughs> that sounds amazing. One of my biggest pet peeves as a server is when people would flag me over but then they weren't ready to order. You guys. I'd be like, excuse me, can we get some service over here? Hello? And then I'd go over there, I'm like, yeah, because I was a professional. <laughs> and they're like, we don't know what to get. What do you think we should get? We didn't, we didn't look at what to get. I'm like, have you tried the fuck out? <laughs> It's really good this time of now. Get out. <laughs> we had like a lot of celebrities come in the bar that I worked in. Uh, I worked in a hotel. And Suge Knight was one of our regulars. Uh, yeah, it was fun. And uh, he, do you guys know who Suge Knight is? Clap if you know who Suge Knight is. <laughs> he didn't clap. Don't respond. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> He's like this big gangster like, record producer guy. I don't know what he does. He just wears red shirts. Um, but he'd always come in the bar and like ask for stuff that we didn't have. Like I think he was just always looking for an excuse to like hang someone over the balcony. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he'd be like, I want some mac and cheese. I'm like, we don't have mac and cheese, Shug. He's like, okay. I want a root beer float. <laughs> I'm like, well, I want Tupac to be alive. We can always get what we want. I, uh, I just got fired from Trader Joe's. <laughs> I farted on my manager, and I filmed it and put it on Instagram. And uh, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I clocked in, I just drank coffee, you know, and I had one brewing, I had it in the chamber. And I seen a manager that had it coming, you know? 
And it, I was like, this will make a good Insta story. <laughs> and then I start filming, and I go up and uh, look at on my Instagram. You think I'm bullshitting? It's like five posts to go, you know? <laughs> and I say uh, to my manager, hey, what's up, fart ass? <laughs> and then I farted on him. You can hear it good, too. I'm half Mexican. <laughs> And then I, I look at him, I go, what are you going to do, man? And your man, what are you going to write me up? And then they fired me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That just happened. And then I filed for unemployment, and uh, they ha have a phone interview with an unemployment agent, and he's trying to get information out of me. And he's like, what'd you get fired for? And I was like, oh, you know, some stuff, yeah. <laughs> And I've been arrested before. I know you say nothing, you know? And then uh, he's trying to get the reason out of me. And, and, uh, and he tells me, the more information you give me, the more I'll be able to help you. I'm like, yeah, all right, buddy. I don't fucking trust you, dude. But then he said, I'm going to find out from your employer what really happened. And I was like, oh, shit, I better tell him then. You know, there's two sides to every fart. I, he's got to hear mine. <laughs> And then I was like, you know, I was just filming on uh, social media and, uh, and a little, little fart <laughs> slipped out, you know? You can't prove that I pushed, you know? <laughs> and then he starts laughing. He goes, oh, what? <laughs> and then I was like, I better sound smart right here. And I was like, yeah, you know, like flatulence. <laughs> and then he really started laughing. And he said, that's all the information I need. And he hung up. And I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna get it. And then a week later, I got a letter in the mail and I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, fuck. To work in customer service, you have to have a certain level of tolerance for anger and aggravation. And white people, y'all are built to deal with anger and aggravation. Not niggas, mm mm. I don't care how bad shit is going with a white customer service rep. They like hostage negotiators. I don't give a fuck how mad you get. They will talk you down. They will, sir, and I understand, and forgive me, you to death. <laughs> sir, what's the problem? My motherfucking PlayStation ain't working, and I can't play online. I'm pissed the fuck off. Sir, sir. Sir. What's your name? Bokeem. Oh, that's a great name. Whatever the problem is, sir, please believe we will get through this. What game are you trying to play? Fucking Madden football. I love football. What's your favorite team? The Giants. I love the Broncos. Go Giants. <laughs> By the time they fix that shit, you be fucking apologizing. Look, man, I ain't mean to curse you out. Just going through a lot of shit, you know what I mean? My fucking wife is leaving me, my kids ain't shit. I'm sorry. It's okay, sir, my name is Chad. If ever you need help again, my extension is 487. And go Broncos. Black people fucking it's a fucking standoff. <laughs> fuck wrong with shit. Motherfucker, I'm trying to figure it out. Nigga, you ain't got to talk to me like that. Man, fuck you. Who the fuck is you? Nigga, you ain't shit. Suck my dick. Your mama ain't shit. Bitch. Nigga, what the fuck? I used to work at McDonald's when I graduated from high school. McDonald's cool. White women used to tip me when they come through. They used to make noises and shit when they order. I'd be like, hey, walk in McDonald's. I'd be like, yes, let me get a... I'd be like, bitch, is you a DJ or something? Because whatever, ain't on the menu. It ain't on the menu, girl. Then they ask questions. How's the salad? It's green. I don't know. Can't afford no salad. I grew up on the dollar menu. And Mexicans come through the drive-thru, and they be ordering and asking questions at the same time. But they really ordering. Like, hey, welcome to McDonald's. Jose be like, oh, okay, um. Um, maybe two McChicken. <laughs> maybe Happy Meal for boy. Maybe, maybe boy. You don't know what you created, Jose. 
you don't know. And then black, old, older black women, they come through and order crazy coffees. Old black ladies come through all the time. Too. Yeah, baby, let me get this. He is the coffee with the, with, the, with the 50 cream and the, and the 50 sugar. And, and let me get three drops of ice. I'm like, you sure you don't want no chocolate milk? Because you just created the chocolate milk. Damn. How you know my name? Bitch, come in every day. <laughs> I go to Starbucks a lot, nothing special about Starbucks, but I hang out there a lot. And I've realized in doing that, I think having any job, in, any kind of job interview at Starbucks, that's got to be the most depressing thing on the planet. Because Starbucks is a rude company. They don't do their job interviews in the back office like every other company in the world. No, they don't do that. They do their job interviews right in the middle of the cafe, 2 p.m. So everyone can see the crushing defeat and failure that's going on at that moment. And like you feel bad for them because you know Starbucks wasn't their first choice. It wasn't their 15th choice. It's their only choice at Starbucks, you know? You know they're getting asked condescending questions, like not on purpose. Just like, so, do you have any uh, leadership skills? No, I don't. I'm applying at Starbucks. Not sure if you saw that. Uh, I'm a college graduate, and I'm here. Life ain't happening. You know? All right, well, then, uh, what are your long-term goals? To not work here. Uh, <laughs> I want to go home right now. This is dumb. And then if you get the job, you got to serve Starbucks customers, of which 95% are animals. You know, because you get some bitchy lady who's like, I asked for extra foam with my latte. It's like, yeah, well, I asked for a reasonable job and a respectable salary uh, <laughs> after I spent $80,000 on an English degree, so you can go screw yourself, all right? Regular will be fine. <laughs> if you're a guy and you go to Starbucks, get a small black coffee and leave, all right? Some of the stuff I see you order, it's embarrassing as a male myself. <laughs> like dudes walking in being like, I'll have a Java chip mocha. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. Because a java chip mocha comes with a tampon and a vagina, all right? Before I started working in the dispensaries, I've pretty much gotten fired from every single job that I've worked here. I know, shocking, right? Um, it's not me, it's Los Angeles. Um, like, I've been fired from, like, serving jobs, bartending jobs, account managing jobs. Uh, someone let me be a substitute teacher. <laughs> Want to know what job I haven't been fired from? Low job. <laughs> I quit, <laughs> but I've never been fired. Okay. My dad loves that joke. I was there 10.75 years, man. You guys got real depressed right there, huh? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I got hired for seasonal work and I stayed over a decade. That's the true tragedy right there, man. Fuck. You guys ever been at a job so long you just make noises at it, you know? I was ringing up this one lady and I just was like, <laughs> and I didn't know that I did that, you know? And then she was like, what was that? And I was like, oh shit, I did that. And I was honest with her, and I told her that was a little bit of my soul dying. <laughs> One scan of organic broccoli at a time. You can feel it, you know? I was like, dude, it's fucking gone, man. And I would do awesome shows like this, you know, at the world famous Laugh Factory. And sometimes I'll uh, open up for famous fucks on the road and I'll do theater gigs with thousands of people and then I would wake up and go work at Trader Joe's. And that's some high high and some low lows right there. I would literally do a theater gig then they'll go clock in and they'll be like, Craig, you need to go clean the toilet. And then I would. <laughs> you guys ever do a theater gig and wake up to a turd in the toilet? I was just looking at it. I was like, I was a goddamn rock star last night. <laughs> this is bullshit, man. <laughs> he doesn't talk back. <laughs> and then sometimes I would get recognized and they would, people I'd ring up would be like, hey, dude, I, I saw you out the Wilter New Year's Eve. You fucking killed it, man. And then they would be like, you really do work at Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> And then a sadness would come over them. <laughs> you know when you're checking into a hotel, you ever wonder, what in the fuck are they typing on the computer that's taking so long? <laughs> you have my reservation. 
but you know I'm coming. What's going on here? You give them your name and they're back there. <laughs> Sheila, when you check people in, is it F6? <laughs> yeah, you look good. Let's talk at lunch. Shit. <laughs> What's your last name, sir? <laughs> it's like, are you realigning a satellite back there? <laughs> <laughs>